slash disco. In Sage Room, we're starting to look like a real live room. The floor, Michael did so much yesterday. He did a great job. I'm dropping phone. The floor looks so good in here. Uh, he did all this in the pantry over here. Look at that full size pantry. That is nice to have on vacation. Um, but here's the flooring here. It's gem core, colors Venice. And so this is actually a really cool flooring. People were asking, like, why I'm not using like vinyl this is um so it's like a technology of like made up of 70 percent of stone so it's like perfect for high traffic high moisture places that are going to get wet and that's why we picked it so this should be perfect now for a quick demonstration of the gem core flooring and how easy it is to install let me show you let me my hammer Some of you guys wanted to see my thrifting finds and you also a whole bunch of you said you wanted me to put together a local thrift shop list and i will do that because that's a great thing there the thrift shops here are so good not necessarily on the island but right off the island like in sarasota and bradenton i there's just every time i go there's a treasure so a couple things i found um are wood hangers i really wanted wood hangers in the inn and i found all of them at goodwill so that's Picked up this little thing for Sal because it's just so cute and who doesn't want like a tray? I, my life was lived like playing store when I was little or tea party. Little, you know, thing like this. I might put this in the inn or in the kids room. Let's see, what else? Um, I've definitely found some furniture, which I've loved finding furniture. I might put this in the sun room or in the girls new room. This I found for Quinn by the side of her bed so she has the metal bed but then Foxy's crib is going to be in there which is like the same thing so it'll kind of tie the whole room and that was from home goods um this bookshelf will go in Sal's closet for all of her books so just stuff like that looks like there's a possible storm coming in Fred and so we the photo shoot for this clothing company got postponed a couple weeks um, so I won't be setting up outside just in case something does come, you know, and it's really rainy, everything is going to get trashed. This question, and yes, we've already been thinking about what's next and what we want to do. Dino's dream is to do a big, like, complex, like a motel hotel. And mine is to do something smaller, like, really small, like, two units and make it very... I'm trying to accomplish this by bringing in a lot of natural elements like the rattan, white walls, um, brightness from like outside um, woods, and then bringing in the colors of each room as an accent and pop. Prices are actually a step ahead of people that we would compare ourselves to. Um, we made sure that we were just under those people. And um, we also are a full service. So our price is the price that you see listed and it includes everything that I have added. So one of the reasons why we decided not to put this on Airbnb, when you book on or when you host on Airbnb, they add an extra fee to every stay, every guest. And I didn't want to have to do that. And we thought, you know what, I've worked for five years to build this platform and to build this page maybe we just use that and see if we can you know market that way and so that's all we've been doing and then of course every time somebody comes by the inn and shares it and stories it it's like so we're so appreciative because that's all the marketing that we have and then that keeps the cost down as well you'll notice when you go on everybody else's site there's a resort fee there's if you go on Airbnb they charge a fee and so I wanted to try to get around that 
Um, and so far, we're of you were asking to see outside plans so the pool deck will get this same coating on it here so it's non-slip and it'll all be one color here we're going to do black tile right here around the pool where it's blue and then the water line will be that shell tile and then the whole bottom will get resurfaced so that blue will be gone um the shower area the outside shower got done this furniture is going to get moved um plants got done fence here is black People were asking if we were painting and replacing this. We share this with the other, the neighbors over there. It's a plastic one, so won't be doing that, but this will all fill in. This is all new plants. We'll have a table and chairs here, umbrellas, and then um, lounge chairs going across, and then another table over there with an umbrella, and then this all got redone too. Another outdoor shower, and then the breezeway over here, which this will be the landing area I'm gonna use has been the landing area for everybody's junk lately but it is going to be have a table in here and then also going to be the spot where everybody's beach stuff will go so it'll be assigned a uh, blush room sage room and then it'll have all of your beach stuff for you all right i'm going to show you an update of the sun room this is upstairs in the back so door in the floor is all in Brian working hard <laughs> and he actually is working um, all in the kitchen here Ooh! and going down the hall almost done in this one Woo! the new house is truly magical and I cannot wait to show you guys it is on the water and it is four bedrooms but the layout of it is the most unique layout i've ever seen i, I can't wait boundaries lots of boundaries so i take weekends off fridays and saturdays i always take off of my phone um, and i literally like leave my phone i don't bring it um and then usually like taking the evenings off trying not to be on my phone in the evenings just setting lots we have lots of help. My niece watches the kids during the day. I go back and forth to where we're living right now and feed the baby, bring her over here. I couldn't do it without her. Brian, my sister-in-law, uh, Brian's brother, Michael, and his wife, Scarlett, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Brooke, my marketing manager, it covers my life. I couldn't even function without her. Um, my manager, Janie. I'd like to thank all of the, no, I'm just kidding. I feel like I'm naming out, but there's a lot of people helping. It's not just me doing all the things and we are craving like a time of like peace and rest like we're pushing for an open date and there's a lot of work right now happening and moving and so much and then we're ready to just like settle and have some quiet peace professional uh, taste testers over here we got our new shipment of olipop and they just came out with grape flavored olipop i don't know if you've ever had a uh, grape crush before but there are like 70 grams of sugar in that thing um there's only in this one so guys you ready to try oh yeah a couple months ago i shared olipop and the root beer one because we're not we don't drink soda in this house we usually drink soda water but it can get so boring and bland and bleh, especially when you're pregnant too like you just want more flavor but you want something on the healthier side or at least we do so uh we started getting olipop and we fell in love with them they have prebiotics a bunch of fiber in them i think nine grams and just way lower sugar so all right let's try some you guys can use my code here for 15% off and this is actually real grape juice what do you guys think that is oh, so good so good yes all right we're gonna go peace out for the next few days until Sunday. Bye. We got in a big argument today at was, lunch over nothing. I was nothing, acting a little bit like like, uh, like this. I was acting a little. <laughs> and <laughs> wasted the whole day and it was over the dumbest thing. Yeah, you said you were being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we all we all know who was stupid. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't let those stupid things get in the way because oh, we wasted really? the whole day and we now we got to make up for it all weekend.